What's going on, guys? So today is the day I finally got my hands on the uh, highly anticipated Nanmu Studios Sick Triceratops statue. And this thing already just looks awesome right here on this photograph on the front of the box. Uh, I pre-ordered this some time ago, and the, uh, the pre-order finally shipped back in April. And uh, it felt like it took an eternity for it to get here uh, from China to my... Uh, house in Georgia but uh, it finally showed up on my doorstep and uh, I am really excited to get this thing out and take a closer look at it. Um, highly highly anticipated figure and normally I don't collect non-licensed Jurassic you know merchandise but this thing right here I could not pass this up it was just too awesome looking and it's from Jurassic Park so you can't go wrong. So the figure comes in sort of like this foam uh, coffin thing and then it also has a base that it comes with and uh, the base is a uh, really highly detailed and uh, very inspiring you know when I uh, normally I make all my own bases but uh, having one in hand from a professional company is actually really cool you know it's got a lot of great detail in it and it gives me a lot of great ideas on how to improve the uh, custom bases that I make for myself and uh, so I think that's really awesome. But the uh, meat and potatoes of the uh, the whole thing is obviously the sick Triceratops. And, of course, it is well packed in here uh, with a bunch of little foam chunks to keep things from breaking. And uh, I'll go ahead and pop it out, and I'll show you guys uh, just a, a little bit of the detail on it. You know, it, there's no articulation or anything like that. It just sort of lays there all sick and everything. But from all angles, this thing just looks awesome. It really looks like they just took it right out of the movie, shrunk it down into a statue form because this thing just looks straight out of Stan Winston Studios. It's phenomenal looking. And the way that they sort of, it has the impression of it being very heavy. Like the way they sculpted the underside where it's laying down, it just has a sense of weight to it. You can really get a feeling of that when you're looking at it in person. Like it just looks like a big, heavy animal. And they did a great job of sort of representing that on this thing. And uh, the, the sculpt work on it, though, is is next level. Like, I don't own any Nanmu stuff, you know, so I can only tell from what I see on pictures on, you know, their Instagram page. But, you know, getting up close into the face and everything, like, it's just every little tiny inch of this figure has just, like, perfect detail on it. And, you know, dry brushing to accent all of the little gouges and stuff in the horns and in the beak and everything and the eye has a little bit of gloss paint on it to let it kind of let it shine a little bit and give it some life and just all the little sculpts and the folds and you know the whole nine yards this thing is actually just perfect and i mean it is a bit expensive i think it's about 80 or 90 bucks but like to me as an adult collector totally worth it just a brilliant looking figure uh, so happy to finally have it in the collection and you know you can display it here on the base it just lays right down on top of it and you can pop it on your shelf and it just looks great fits in awesome with all your other jurassic park stuff you know so you can't go wrong there but my big question was does this thing or would this thing fit in with the you know mattel 118 scale uh, figures even though this sick triceratops is you know 135 scale um, so I'll bring in a Roarvor Triceratops here and kind of show you the same, you know, that they're relatively the same length, you know, um, a little bit of sculpting differences, but they're basically the same exact size. So uh, once I got it out of the box and I started sort of messing around um, with the Mattel figures with it, uh, to me, like personally, I think it fits in great with the Mattel stuff. So, you know, if you're looking for a sick Triceratops for your display, uh, for your legacy collection display you can't go wrong with this one and of course you guys know me i can't help but do photography and take a bunch of pictures of stuff uh, when i get it so i took everything out into my backyard into the natural uh, light and uh just started snapping some pictures you know set up a little scene and stuff like that and having a ton of fun with this thing i uh, just bringing back memories of being a kid and you know doing this scene with my kenner figures but uh, a lot of nostalgia uh this thing hits all the points it is a 10 out of 10 for me i dig it uh, if you guys want to know where you can pre-order this ad it is available at bigbadtoystore.com i'll leave a link in the description box below um, if you want more information on it you can go to instagram and uh, check out nanmu's instagram page and of course you can follow all the links to their website if you want but that is going to do it for me guys until next time for more jurassic park related content you know where to find me links will be in the description box below you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video